Hi everybody, my name is Hoops and welcome back to the Hoops Mayhem channel. How we going guys? Hopefully you can hear me with the wind that's around, but uh, Giles did try to take over my channel a minute ago, but this is the intro. Um, me, Jarvis, uh, Michael and Jada have just come down to the dorsal cut because the uh, whiting are uh, actually running, the uh, King George whiting, but it, um, it's absolutely miserable looking weather today, so we're going to try and see if we can catch some. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some King George whiting. <laughs> We've got a path to your flat rock. Right? Now you wanna show to my house. You wanna show everyone um on YouTube how you how do you uh cast mate? Yeah, so you put your finger well first of all you wanna grab you know. Yep. See? And then you put your finger over this. Yep. And then you flip the bail arm, which is that bit. Yep. And then you pull it back. Yep. And then you look at where you wanna go, like where you want it to go. Yep. Then you go. Uh, once it hits the water, that was a big cast too. You flip that bail arm. Yep. And then, say if it like constantly goes and then you flip it and then it starts getting really loose, you just tighten, tighten up. So you start reeling. And All right. And then how do you check to see if there's bites? Um, okay. So you want to reel it up to about there. Yeah. And you want to put your finger over it. Yep. And once it starts going like, like. Yeah, you feel it, feel it through your fingertips, don't you? Yeah. Good job. Vibration. Oh, I really hope you're pulling a big fish. Righty guys, welcome to the Jada Fishing Club School. <laughs> How you going? Are you catching anything? Um, not much. I'm having bites though. Yeah, we, we, um, oh. Actually, I think you've just caught something, Jada, hey? Come help me. You got one. You got one, Jada. You got a fish. And I got it on camera. See? Girls can fish too. So whoever says out there that girls aren't good fishermen, it should be called fisher people because it just proved it that girls can catch fish too. Good job, Jada. Oh five. Where is your fish? In the bucket. In the bucket. There he is. Jada little little herring. Jada yeah, Jada the fish hunter. Michael the shark whisperer. <laughs> like father, like daughter, eh? Chased it again. You got one? Yep. It's on. Oh. oh, nearly got a face slap with a herring. Good job. in the bucket.
Oh yes, it's a King George. Help me get it up. Yeah. It's really tight. Help. Keep it. Stephen, you got anything to say say to the viewers about fishing? Uh, I suck when it comes to fishing sometimes, and sometimes I do okay. So hopefully, this isn't going to be one of those sucky moments. Anything to say casting out? Um, poor fish. Ah. <laughs> Maybe wish me luck, viewers. Hopefully we uh, can get a King George. Oh yeah. Oh, Jarvie, your dad's got one. It's a better one. That was a better one. It actually went where it was supposed to. Yes. Okay, I'm videoing now. Oh, wow. that's, that's oh, that's a big one. That's a good one. Yeah. Let's go. There we go, guys. Uh, a King George Whiting. So we finally got ourselves a catch and cook this time. We're fishing. <laughs> Ooh, now nah, it's not a fail. Them. Yeah, it's bloody tiring. <laughs> well, you hear that clicking sound? That's the drag. He's just getting a little bit of line each time. And when he stops, you can retrieve your line like that. Do you think he's starting to get tired now, Stephen? I don't know, but I bloody am. Do you want to come track? Did you get the snap on my head? 
Yep. Oh, it was a stingray. <laughs> so close, we could see him, but I probably wouldn't have picked it up on the uh, camera. But. Alrighty guys, fishing down here, dorsal cut, which you'll see behind me. Yeah, dorsal channel right here. And uh, just over there, um, a while back, if you look at one of my old videos, I did some uh, flying the drone. I took Kai and we went and flew the drone up over the old yacht over there and got some good footage of the uh, Mental Dorsal Channel. But have a look at this beautiful sunset in the background. And it is a, uh, it was started out as a pretty cold, miserable, wet day, and it's absolutely beautiful now. It's perfect fishing, uh, hence why we've well, what did we get? About three or four King George whiting, a few herring, um, hooked onto a big stingray and it snapped it. Saw some cool birds and look as I speak, there's a dolphin swimming out here so I'll leave it on this sort of view. You might see him come out of the water. I did get a bit of footage of um, dolphin swimming around so hopefully that uh, does it a bit of justice. But absolutely beautiful place here. But there you go, there's a dolphin swimming around. Um, yeah, uh, it's getting a little bit late, so what we'll do is we'll go home and we'll cook up uh, our feed, so it'll be a catch and cook. And there he goes again. Might try to walk down a little bit further and see if we can get him whilst we're doing it. And um, yeah, get some good footage of him, but you never know, might get him. Yeah, enjoyed, really enjoyed it. Um, always have fun with uh, Jarvis. Uh, pity Kai wasn't here, he's at uh, youth tonight. Um, yeah, got Michael and Jada, and um, every time I go out with them, we, we always have a good time. So uh, yeah, and today was the day we did the live live video with um, Paul from uh, Mad Dog Adventures. So I will link the description in the description for his channel because yeah, he's um, been helping me, and I've been helping him with subscribers, and that's why we did the live video today, and it actually uh, did pretty well for him. He gained gained a few subscribers. I've gained. Uh, quite a few more view hours on my videos so I'm still trying to target 4,000 view hours but uh, at the moment I'm a little way off I'm almost half well, just about halfway pretty much and um, I still need to get another 100, 100 subscribers and then I'll make the thousand subscriber mark but yeah it was the swimming there's I'm not sure what that is in the water just there but that didn't look like a dolphin there he is how beautiful is it down here, eh? We are very lucky to have this. Uh, our house is actually just on the other side over here. We're about 500 metres off this water right here. We could fly the drone up and you'd be able to see the water, no dramas. So we're pretty close. We've got all sorts of wildlife going on. We've got splashing in the water just here from something, something getting around. I mean, look at that. All these beautiful canal homes, all these boats. There's the dolphin. Look at that. He's right there, swimming right next to me. Hopefully you've seen that on the, um, the video. It looks like he's gone up that way somewhere. There he goes. I don't think I'll be uh, fast enough to follow him, but yeah. Amazing, beautiful creatures, aren't they? The birds. And that beautiful sunset settling just on the horizon now. And you see the clouds out there, absolutely beautiful day. Beautiful evening anyway, compared to what it was uh, this morning when we started filming the live video, it was absolutely crappy, but um, it's certainly gone better than what it started, that's for sure. I'll uh, head down to this dolphin, hopefully I can film him before he runs off.
Yeah, buddy. All right, we're done. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Um, I was trying to get do the outro before, but then just too much was happening. The sunset was going down. The dolphins were swimming around, so we uh, decided to get some good footage of that. So we're gonna go home, and we're gonna cook up some uh, food. Uh, so we'll be a catch and cook of the whiting and things like that. So um, yeah, it's uh, good to see you, but yeah, we'll uh, see you very shortly. We'll do the cook up, and yeah, we'll go from there. Alright guys, we made it back home and um, we're just going to do a quick uh, show. There's one of the King George whiting that we got. It's uh, not a bad size King George. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's not a bad one. But we'll just do a quick um, show you how to fill them and Jarvis wanted to see them anyway. So I'm just going to do a quick one. But yeah, what we want to do obviously is get off uh, all the scales. So drawing, drawing back across its uh, skin. We'll remove all its little tiny scales. Um, King George whiting actually do have really, really tiny scales. Um, with the herring that we caught, we won't need to scale them because their meat's pretty, pretty decent and their skin's um, pretty tough. So we'll, I'll show you once we do a, a whiting. I mean a, a herring. So yeah, we just want to get as much scales off as we can. <coughs> Give it a rinse, rinse off in the water. And doing that, you can actually feel if you've left any scales on there, so you can sort of just draw your knife back across it whilst the water's running. All right, so we start off at the head and work our way to the tail. And what you want to do is go down and all the way into the spine and then basically turn your knife and slide it backwards, so Jarvis. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna go here, Jarv, underneath its fin there. Mm -hmm. Cut in. You can now start to feel its head. You bring your knife back up here towards its spine. Like pretty much halfway. Yeah, you run it, run your blade along it a little bit so you sort of can feel where that spine is. Then you jab it all the way through. It's gonna get a lot of the rib cage, but it's all right. And then you just work your way, knife, and then that way you could just cut out the ribcage. Yeah. Oh, the light's not the best out of yet, so... It's still good though. Might have gone a bit deep on this one, but we'll see. <clears throat> no, that's good. Alrighty, so that's one fillet. I'll show you what we do in a minute as well. Uh, same, same dealio. Just gonna wash the blood off so it looks a bit nicer for YouTube. Uh, yep, under the fin again, cut down till you feel its backs, and then run your blade along that rib cage. Trying to just guide it along the rib cage as much as you can. If you go through it, doesn't matter. If you get a bit of fin on it, doesn't matter. And then when you get to the tail, you slide it through. And then it should end up with a frame pretty much like that. You can see through it, it's missing its gut pocket, and uh, that's a good fillet. Yeah, let's clean off that a little bit. And I'll clean off this fillet a little bit. You can hear the barbie. Barbie's, barbie's cranking. So I'll turn it down a little bit now whilst we're um, waiting to do these. The water's up. I made the... I'll flip water on it. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to keep the skin on these ones. But what I'm going to do is, you'll see, you'll see along here, there's a big uh, rib cage. So you would slice across it and just try to cut out. The rib cage without taking out too much of the meat. So you want to be nice and gentle. I find it harder doing the um the left side of a whiting than I do the right. And to be honest, the the rib cage in a whiting is not even that that bad. The bones are really tiny for whiting. Yeah, I've just taken off that yucky stuff. Here we go. Nice oh, fillet. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah, I find these ones a lot easier because I can work my way through the meat and along its rib cage. Look at a double there. There you go. Yeah, there's a little bit of 
a little bit of rib in there, but like I said, it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to do one herring and then I'm going to pass it over to Jarvis and he can have a crack at doing one of his other herrings. Like I said, we're not going to worry about uh, scaling a herring because the meat's nice and thick and the skin's nice and tough. So, under same deal under the fin, like this. And then down. And then down. And then. And then I'm going to go back around, around its head so it's the same shape as its head. And then what you do is you come in here, sort of jab it a couple of times until you feel that spine. And, you go and then you push all the way through and then basically drag and draw along that spine and then it's left, left over a bit, so you want to do that. This way we don't have to gut it or anything. Yep. And then I'll do the other side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, go under its fin, back across, slide it down. I missed a fair bit of meat then, but it's all good. We're more after the whiting. Actually, it was a pretty good. It's more off its back spine up here that I missed, but that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so when you want to de skin a, a herring, some people make, make things way more harder than they really need to be. But what I do is I use my fingernail and I'll pinch, pinch the end of its tail with my fingernail. Oh, yeah, I'll cut spin. down onto it. And then just do exactly the same as what you would if you were going to fill it the other ones and you just sort of slide your Ooh. slide your knife along its meat and boom. I think you actually did it this time. Yeah. Oh. Have a look at that. Wow. Nice. Nice, fill it. Now I want the skin. Skin's gone. Bang. And that's still got its scales on. I just find it so much easier with the scales on with herring. This is massive. This is probably going to be like the best fit. Yep. I mean, just one more look at it. Like, there we go. That's the other one done as well. Look, look how clean this one looks. Nice. So nice. Alright, Jarv, you ready to have a go? Yep. And I'm going to try and make it as good as this. Okay. This may take take 10, but we'll see. Alright, here. Okay. Now be very, careful. very careful. This is a sharp knife. Sharp. And there are YouTube followers watching us right now, watching how careful you are. So you want to flap it underneath, get it underneath that little thing. Yep. And then cut it straight down. Yeah. And then straight down this side more. Yep. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. That's all good. Now bring your knife sideways like this and jab in a little, no, 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 all the way. Just jab across a bit. Yep. That's it. Now, now go all the way through and now tilt your blade down like that and draw it through. Perfect and then slice straight through the tail. Oh, it missed him a little bit, but that's all right. No, don't worry about that bit. All right, I'll just tidy that, get that off for you. There's, there's still heaps there, isn't it? Nah, you, look, I'll show you how much you missed. No. That much, that wouldn't even feed. A person. Yeah, no one. All right, so do this one now. So underneath that, I do it alone. that flap, yep. This is what it's about guys, is teaching your kids how to do these things. One day they will pass it down to their kids. Alright, now turn him around. This is what I would do. I'd go like that and then I'd turn him around and do it that way. So just be very super careful. No, you don't want that hand in the line of fire, mate. Put this hand, if you have to, over the top and hold his head. You don't want that knife pointing at you or anywhere. Now you want to go angle it down as well. Angle it down towards the thing that's perfect angle it down more otherwise you're gonna thin it out like the last one yep all right great job keep going yeah now straight out beautiful now lift it up and show everyone that because that was a great fillet you did a great job sure. just watch your fingers yeah it doesn't matter yep but now just ripping yep sure sure look at that jarvis's first ever fillet let me just wash this yep I don't worry about it. Show them, show them that fillet you just done there. That's what it looks like. Show it right close to the camera. So, when it's clean, that's what my... You can't complain about that, hey? 11 year old filleting his own fish, that's amazing. And he's and done also, a really good job. And also, just let you know, I've never done this, so don't, yep. don't judge me. No, they won't judge you. Alright, we'll just get the juices off that. Right. 
You want me, do you want me to show you this part or you want to do it? So you remember you pinch pinch this very can end with your fingernail. Could I try with this one? You can do that one. Okay, all right, so watch me. You pinch it with your fingernail, you cut down, and then you basically turn it on its side, and then you just slowly, slowly, slowly run that blade the full length. Right, see, I've almost got that blade on the oh, on the table the entire time. And then you get a nice little, <laughs> little piece of hair. Right, so yep, pinch it with your fingernail, slide it down, yep, and now turn it sideways as you're cutting. It's a bit hard. Just cut it up a bit further. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll get it started because that's, oh, yeah. that's the hardest part because this one you actually cut his tail off. So you want to start back a bit further. Like there. Right, there you go. So now you keep that blade on the table. Use the whole thing. Oh, that's perfect. Yep. Tilt it down more. Yep. Good job. Look at that. Watch out for the knife, but yep, look at that. Didn't even miss a piece. It's like the perfect Dad, fillet. Why ever. does that bit like feel like a tail? Uh, it's just a little bit of bone. All right, cool. I'm gonna uh, smash out the rest of them. Then we're gonna do a um. Just wait, Jeff. Then we're gonna do a fry up on the uh my outdoor kitchen, and um we'll do it with chipotle, a bit of butter, salt and pepper. Beautiful. Daddy. That's awesome. I didn't even I wasn't even watching you. That's how confident I am with your filleting skills now, Jarvis. I don't even have to watch you because I know. I you're just doing don't know what that black bit is. That's alright, that's just a blood vessel in, inside the body. Put one on. Oh. That's put one on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I get some big one. Can I put it on? Can I do nothing? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells so good already. I know. And this is the one I actually did cutting the skin off. That's so we open that little drop that skin. Thank you so much, Daddy. You're Alrighty, it's time to do a taste test. So we got a bit of herring, a bit of whiting. So uh, like I said, it was chipotle, uh, just a chipotle seasoning and salt and pepper and butter. So and this side is um, herring, herring, and that side is... Whiting. Yeah, whiting. All right, grab a piece, Joe. I'm going to try herring first. I'm going to try big whiting. Mm. It's so good. Yes, yes. Couple bones. Yeah. I've got a bit there. Um, I don't normally like herring, but cooking it with chipotle, it's, it's like, so much yeah, it's been my favourite. So, um, I want to try Zach Fowler's Wadobo. Zach Fowler mm -hmm. and um, the Wooded Beardsman, they um, did a spice together called Wadobo, but it's just it's so expensive to actually export it over here to Australia. Hmm. But yeah, I'll give them a shout out to Zach Fowler and Wooded Beardsman. Mm -hmm. I don't think they'll watch this, but it'll be cool. Um, they're our heroes, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right, so a bit of whiting. Try some whiting now. Still eating my whiting, so good. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, whiting is the bomb. I'm sorry, sorry herring, but... Whiting's way better. Mmm. 
So good. There you go, guys. We're going to finish this plate off because we're starving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I'm so mummy. Uh, it was awesome. Awesome going out, like I said, with uh, this little fella here, Jarvis, and um, Michael and Jada trying to catch these fish. And we actually did catch some this time, unlike some of my other previous videos where we were down at the, uh, trying to fit the carp and the shark and things like that. But we got some whiting and herring. So cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Stay moist. Bye. Oh, no. Don't start on me. <laughs> right, let's take two. Super blue highlights.